So here we're inserting a St. Jude Medical Implantable Loop Recorder for continuous heart rhythm monitoring. We do this under strict sterile technique with sterile gloves and sterile gown. We start by identifying the midline of the patient, position ourselves three rib spaces downwards, four centimeters to the left over the heart, and this is where the loop recorder will be positioned. We take a pinch of skin, and from the base of that pinch of skin, we infiltrate lidocaine or numbing medication, 10 cc's total along that insertion track, so the patient will feel nothing while we insert the implantable monitor. So here we are infiltrating the, lid the lidocaine nice and slowly, making sure we're we numb thoroughly below the skin as we progress. Here is the insertion kit with the loop recorder again a, a supplied by St. Jude Medical. We take out the initial cutting tool that will create a track for us to insert the monitor. There we are just making that initial incision under the skin with the specialized tool and with the insertion tool we can then slip it down along the anesthetized track that we created um, allowing us finally to implant the loop recorder. That's it in gray at the base of the insertion tool. We pull back the plunger, watch the loop recorder drop into the delivery cartridge and after we see that by advancing the plunger we position the loop recorder underneath the skin. Can then remove the insertion tool, use a finger just to control any bleeding that may take place and the loop recorder is implanted. Here's our technician confirming adequate sensing of the heart rhythm signal excellent sensing from these devices. Every beat of the heart captured starting now. There's the electrical signal that's recorded. We can program that device to meet the specific needs of our patient, program it to send us any alerts that would, for things that we may need to be aware of immediately. And we now close that insertion site with resorbable sutures. We'll position several sutures under the skin to hold that securely closed, allowing the wound to heal in a very satisfactory fashion. We don't want any discomfort. We want minimal scarring. There we are with the implant team, just finalizing those initial sutures. And then finally, we'll seal that insertion site with surgical glue surgical glue that fits about the size of a quarter over the device. It'll be access, um, acceptable to shower starting tonight. That glue will wear off in about a week and we have every beat of the heart starting now. Again, that signal will be transferred to a website using cell phone technology. It'll be available to us at any time. We can program alerts to notify us when a serious event has happened. And again, when the patients come into the office, we can download everything that has happened since the last clinic visit and uh, discuss whatever rhythm issues the patient may have. The patient can report to the device when they're having symptoms. So we can do symptom rhythm correlation to explain the basis of the symptoms based on the associated heart rhythm. There's the drop of surgical glue about the size of a quarter. Again, that'll dry immediately. The patient can shower tonight. That'll peel off in about a week. There's your implantable loop recorder, brand new technology from St. Jude.